We did it. It's done. Hello YouTube. This is the new world record of the 100% plus category in Dredge. The plus means that we are including the new DLC, the Pale Reach, and the Blackstone Key DLC items, especially the Sign of Ruin, which gives us an additional 5% aberration bonus on every fish we catch. Before we jump into the run, let's quickly assess everything we have to achieve for a run to count as an official world record. Before finishing the game, we have to achieve the following tasks. All books have to be completely read. All pursuits have to be fulfilled with their good endings. We have to talk to every NPC. We have to complete every fish shrine. Researched all items. Complete the encyclopedia with all the fish and all the aberrants. We have to upgrade our boat completely. And since the update 1.3, all flags and boat colors have to be unlocked. In order to achieve all of that in less than 3 hours and 30 minutes, I constipated a complicated route which most of the time does multiple things at once. If you are confused or have any questions of what is going on, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I'm usually pretty quick in answering. Also, if you are motivated to do a dredge speedrun on your own, don't hesitate to join the community on our Discord. There we discuss strategies and theories. I put a link into the video description. And now, enjoy the run and have fun watching. Ah, oh, I'm talking so much. I should maybe focus a little bit more on the game. My cardio is over, so I'll be leaving. Good luck. Have you been on the treadmill or like watching me? That's amazing. It's actually amazing. I love that. Wow. I'm jealous. Like, I actually wanted to go to the gym today as well. For a leg day. But I, like, leg days always fuck me over. So I was not mentally prepared for that today. Like, having sore muscles for five days. <laughs> feeling like a grandparent. When walking. The trick is to never skip it. Yeah, that's right. Like, I, I never skip it actually. But I, um, I was sick for five weeks. Um, and five weeks actually for me personally are enough to like really um, kick me out of my training schedule and the first um, after the first uh, training the pain is just intense Like uh, the first training after five weeks of break. And that's where I am at right now. Like I had my first training and I couldn't walk for, for like a week. <laughs> Alright, let's hope for an aberration now. Yes, that's the start. Let's take the start. It's not amazing, but it's all right. And I want to get going. I want to get started in the run. 
Alright, what from the fishmonger? one goes here we get the book we start reading the book we talk to the mayor get the package and off we go on our mission bringing him bringing the dog worker the package before it goes like before it, it loses its shelf life Oh, what a game. Like, I, I, I'm probably the person on this planet which did the most, like, runs of this game. At least, um, I'm not aware of a person who did more runs than me. In the 100% category. And I still love it. Like, I don't get tired of this game because it just feels so rewarding every time you finish it. get this thing and put it in our storage and off we go on our mission to a uh, mission to dredging the key oh i'm excited it's the first time i'm using the sign of ruin like the other part of the dlc content dlc content of the download content and the additional aberration chances it gives us is such a nice bonus to have in a 100% run. It's gonna provide money, it's gonna provide entries in the encyclopedia, it's gonna make our life that tiny bit easier, which might result in us beating the 3 hours and 30 minutes for the first time. Thank you very much. Yeah, like, I, I also can understand when people, like, can't play a game multiple times, but, like, watching it and being part of, of the mission of beating this game as quickly as possible, I think that's, that's, like, a completely different story. Like, I couldn't play it casually as well, because casually it doesn't provide anything new for me anymore. But playing it like this, like, playing it... For the sake of being quick, that's a whole different story for me. That's an okay time. We empty our storage, quickly sleep, and off we go with our new gained ability and dredge some materials here. Maybe we even can get a few early research parts. I'd be very happy about that. Hell yes. We can. <laughs> oh my god. Two research parts. This early. <laughs> All right, we're talking. We can already start reading our second book here. <laughs> That's actually 
Do I even have enough space for these many research parts? <laughs> that's amazing. Like, that's very, very rare, getting this many research parts. I think it's like one in 150 runs with these many this early. And now I actually have to be very careful because... I'm not very confident in the dark in this area. But this actually is a very nice time save already. And yeah, we do have enough space for all the materials. Amazing. Actually amazing. Here we could get an aberration if we had the correct... Um, thingy for it. Right. No, not to the painter. We go to the grieving father. Get another research part. Bye, 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 bye. And now we sleep until 5.30. Perfect. Oh, that's bad. If we get a research part now, the fact that we had to re-maneuver our position to this cot spot actually is going to make it very hard to get the correct timing on the flounder. So now we actually don't want to get a research part here when dredging the wood and the two scrap metal. I mean, um, the trophy flounder actually could save us. But still, this is going to be... Like, if we get a research part now, this is going to be a very hard timing. But if we get a research part and we get the timing of the flounder... We are actually... Very fine. Like, this is an amazing start. Even though my execution, ha execution hasn't been on point. But um, three research parts right at the beginning is actually really good. Right, emptying the storage here, uh, em our inventory into the storage is actually very important. Otherwise, we would not be able to do this like trip over here with everything we want to get. I forgot that I can actually use haste. Alright, let's focus up and take this run very serious now. Because I think none of my runs ever started this quick. And we even get an aberration. That's actually amazing. This is going to be a lot of money for us. Can we get another aberration here? Oh, we get a trophy. That's so good. All right. Go here. We have no <laughs> no book left. We already read all our, our books because we, we did so much dredging already. All right, let's do these pursuits. much money. Amazing. We talk to the builder. Yeah. And we talk ah. to the shipwright. Use the second option of the dialogue. Hey, that, that always happens to me. Very nasty. This upgrade... Ah. 
these two in here. Can we already buy this? Yes, we can. Amazing. Like, this saves us a lot of time. Um, we want to go to the dry dock and empty our inventory in here. Uh, our storage. So that we actually can fit way more materials in here. Like this. You come with us. And we also can sell our ring rods. This goes into the inventory. And we need to get this installed like this. Talk to the fishmonger. Ah, now we have to repair the crab pot. Quickly finish sleep. And now we do an economy trip. Get one flounder. Just for the money. Because we want to take advantage of the fact that there are two stingrays here. Which just provide. One. Unfortunately, that's not a an aberration. Ah. Like, I actually really would like to get aberrations here because they will help us with our time as well. We sell, and now we go and do our little tour here. Only gonna be slightly dangerous. All right, we get the next book, which we immediately are going to start to read. Actually, I'm going to go straight to the dock position here so we can quickly sleep because here in this area there is the anglerfish which attacks our boat and it's actually very aggressive and very likely for us to encounter it. So I'm just gonna play it safe here. We get the two wood over here. and to scrap metal and if we, we are lucky we get another research part but i think like every research part we get in the next hour is actually gonna be like extremely lucky after the luck we already had okay we go to the material pile this now we are going to save and quit so some of uh, some of the materials respawn for us actually do i have to do this or can i just usually get one of the lumber i, I think i have another time save here i think i can skip doing this like doing the the save and quit here the save and load because there should be enough it's 
base for what I want to do. Uh, I think inventory management is kind of weird here. Uh, am I going to be able to fit the guy in here, actually? Uh, what the fuck is happening here? Let's discard one of these. Get this thing. And then we get out of here. Um, this is the most research parts I ever got at the start of the game. Did you pay the devs for extra luck? Not gonna tell you. <laughs> Let's just hope we don't get attacked by something here. But this is actually... Mm. I love that. I don't want to hit a boulder. We did. But that's actually not a big deal. We have so many research parts, we can't afford anything now. Radar. Storage. Will you stay here? Dock worker. Mm. Quickly sleep. So we don't have that much panic anymore. And now we want to get an aberration. Oh my god. That's a very good aberration as well. What is happening here? What a start to this run. This is actually amazing. Quickly. Get to a, oh. Wow. I never had these many aberrations at the start of the run. Uh, I think the sign of the ruin might have been the correct call here. Come on. And there is even another aberration here. This is... What is happening? Um... Sign of the Ruin might be the most underrated item in the game. Let's hope we get the correct amount of crabs. We have perfect crab uh, luck here. This is just more than I could ever ask for. Feeling the pressure now. Uh. Take the builder. Mm. Repair everything. You go here. Actually, yeah. crab pot. Yeah, the crab pot stays here. Um, we now have to quickly sleep. Wow. Just wow. We have almost the entire Maros now in terms of aberrations. We have so much already. Ah. Amazing. Okay. These two. Uh, actually, let's Stay here, save and quit, and do like we, we need to fill up our inventory once. We go back, we sleep here, we dredge 
trinket and the empty the what's it called the shipwreck and we take it from there the amount of research parts we got the amount of aberrations we got it feels like the sign of the ruin does not only influence aberration luck but yeah we are going to see about that for the rest of the run We're not gonna sleep here because we don't need to. Alright, this feels amazing. This feels like an amazing start here. We even can get... Oh no, we can't get it. The aberration over there. Already past six. Okay, we go to the trader. Sell our stuff. Empty our inventory. Ah, everything. And now we sleep. And off we go. We're doing the pursuit of the figure in blue. We are doing very good here. Like, general, general movement and menu navigation could have been a little bit more efficient and quicker. But um, in terms of luck of, and RNG, in terms of um, like how far we already are in this game just after leaving the Marrows this is going amazing alright I'm gonna um, go to the serpent here uh, to the what's it called snake mackerel I'm gonna try and get the aberration Maybe we are lucky. Nope, we are not. Doesn't matter. It's all right. Okay. Right. Get the note. And now we have to sleep until 4.30. Because that really helps with our timing in Gale Cliffs. You come with us. Alright, so we are going to be able to catch one less of the cots in Gale Cliffs. Can we get an aberration? Ah, let's not try this right here. I think this is stupid. Just a waste of time going for aberrations here because we can still go for aberrations as soon as we have read our book. All right, next is the figure in blue. We are almost there.
we get a gold split here. But how much stuff can I fit in here without it being annoying? Cool, cool, cool. All right, now we get three of the cots over there and hope we can manage to Tetris them into our inventory. Because like one of the most important rules in speedrunning this game is you want a very efficient inventory, right? Ah, that's fine. That is fine. Market. Yard. Huh. All of this goes into our inventory. Um, floating dock. We get those upgrades because we can afford them. And now we empty our inventory into these. Lots. Look at the amount of research parts we got. Actually, actually amazing. All right, research parts. We start with getting the engine. Get some pots. This. Rest. Never seen so many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, the early game actually really helps with, um, or like, like we, we have so many research parts at the start of the game because we don't need to spend them right away, right? Like, there's no actually benefit for us spending research parts early because we can't afford those items anyway just yet so we don't need to like use it hmm. right we do one quick trip to get this research part over here we get two wreckfish and sell them maybe we can even get an aberration already let's see ah yes yes that's so good, actually. That's so good. So expensive. Right. And off we go to our pursuit here in Gale Cliffs. Uh... Am I blind? We need to dredge two wood over here. Oh, it's going to be very dark when we are navigating here. I think I can do this trip even more efficient overall, but I'm not sure about it. I have to do some research after this run. Uh, what am I doing? Can I actually fit all this stuff into my inventory? I should be able to, right? Yes, I should. Nice. 
what kind of aberration is that? I was not gonna lie, I want it. It's the eel. But let's get the aberration. Come on. We are getting attacked here. Let's actually quickly sleep. So the sneeze, the, the sea serpent goes away. So what I just did was I threw away all those um, eels, which I shouldn't have done. I think it would have been way more efficient to just go here, um, empty our inventory here, and then get the aberration because it actually... Oh no. <gasps> that was a mistake. Actually, you don't want to have the mouth of the deep in my inventory here. Yeah, so this could have been more efficient here. Like, prioritizing doing the fish shrine, emptying the inventory there. And now we have missed our timing on the eel, so I actually have to sleep here until it is night again. Ah! That's bad. Like, it's not bad, bad, it's just um, less efficient. And this had, like, we could proceed the section quicker and with more effect to the game. Anyway. And change it now. Just gotta stay focused. Yeah, so we can get one less scrap metal here because of the mistake. And I really would like to have more scrap metal. And we wasted a lot of money there, like not getting the eel. So we can sell it, I think was a mistake. But we want to empty our inventory here. Come on. Leap. So we are not panicked anymore. Any aberrations? No. No aberrations. Yes, there are aberrations there. Can we get this aberration? I don't think we can get it. We're gonna try anyway. Nope, we cannot get it. Because it's 6 a.m. already. And it means that we will not get the like the the aberration timer has expired all right so ah, let's focus up here We get the trinket over here and the two wreckfish. Very nice. And we get your operation already. One. Nope, we can't just yet. Oh, come on. I really would have liked to get the aberration here. But that's alright. I can get it later. Mm. 
Nice. Very nice. Mm. Can get operation over here. I really would like. Oh come on. Don't tell me we are not getting the aberration because I am bad at fishing. We don't get the aberration, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's such a bummer. Quite a misplay as well. Alright. Can get him. How's our ear doing? It's stale, so we can't. Um. Use it yet. Right. You come with us, little buddy. Come on. Come on. We go back here. Should be ah. rotten now. Amazing. I would like to catch the what's it called? I can't find the fishing spot over here. But now I would like to quickly get the aberration of this fish. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh. like it's it's not that hard actually. As soon as you have the rhythm for this, come on. Yeah, sounds about right. I really would have liked to get aberrations here because mm. um, it would actually. Um, make the, the complete process so much quicker. We only get these and leave the others inside. What I'm doing right now is I'm um, farming a little bit of money because what we want in a second is getting the hull upgrade mm. and also I forgot to <laughs> to buy the um, what's it called? Oh, we don't have books anymore. Gonna correct this one. Um, we also need to, yeah, that's right. One, two, three. One of them is in our storage. Now we need two in our storage, uh, in our inventory. And now we fill up our inventory with items. much as we can fit so we make this a worthwhile trip nice actually i think we are fine on scrap metal i think um, lumber is the more valuable resource to us right now We want this trinket because it is expensive. Nice. We get the music box. This. And next, we're gonna get this refined metal over here. maybe find the sea bass. Now I cannot because I am I forgot the actual position. 
but all, all of this is full so we need to go to the floating dock put all of this in here we want this upgrade one and we want this upgrade do you need an additional lumber but i think i know where to get it also next thing we need is this but we don't have the money just yet how can we get the money mm, let's just quickly sleep and do some fishing Actually, let's quit and uh, come back for the re materials we spawn and we can get a wreckfish. All right, we go outside here. Uh, actually, not what I wanted to, to get. I wanted to get this lumber over here. Lumber at this stage of the game is going to be important. And I might... Uh, I should have maybe emptied my inventory completely before going here. Ah, It's a learning curve. Go back here and find a scrap metal, I think. We will have a use for that. I want the lumber over here because lumber. Can I actually fit it in here? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And next, we have to be a little bit quick because we empty our inventory. Like this and get the wreckfish over here which is going to despawn in an hour of in-game time oh my god we have all the aberrations of the wreckfish already I think that's amazing mm. the wreckfish actually is a really hard like timing We need one more of these, but I know where to get it. Oh. Go to the shipyard. We sell one of these. This one is going to be installed. And we buy... Oh, we can't afford it yet. <gasps> okay, we got, are going to do something which is usually forbidden and sell one research part. Because I don't want to be slow right now. Leap here. We get... Oh. Um, the music box back into our inventory we get this and we get this hmm. we sell this 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 put all of this into storage and off we go with a new engine finishing gale cliffs in a very nice time, I think. I think um, selling the... the research part here was a really good call. Because... we got so much um, research already. Come on. Uh, where do I put this? This. this one can go into the inventory. All right. Very, very solid time in the box, in my opinion.
All right. Now I would like to get. Um, listen to my inventory. Grab two of these. We want to get the refined metal over here. And just manifest here and save some time. We get this and we pray for the aberration of the stingray. Oh, come on. Oh my god, we get the aberration of the stingray here. Let's go. This is so expensive. How do I fit it perfectly? Can I even get another one? Like not another aberration maybe, but another... I think so, but we have to do some organizing. Like this, yes. Right. Ugh. Don't want to lose it. Right. Trader. Sell, 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 sell. That's, that should be everything. Painter. Deliver mm. flag. Mm. Yes. Deliver mm. flag. No. Deliver mm. flag. No. No, we paint the bull, uh, the, the boat. Because we can get. We already got the crevations, which is mm. amazing. And now we quickly want to sleep. So we don't hit anything on our way over here. Very nice. Yeah. All right, we sell our fish. Look at the amount of money we get. Now we go to the loading dock, we get this upgrade and we can almost get this upgrade already. All we need is two more of these, which I really would like to get. Um, get. No, we don't need it. Um, we can sell some stuff, but we also can sell it somewhere else quickly sleep we go to the builder now because we want the book ah uh, did we actually get the book yeah out of the silver tongue we need some books for pay reach now Actually go here and dredge some materials because we are already here and we can just fill up our inventory. We also want to um, dredge the trinket here, sell it and um, get the book of the trader. Also we need um, rods and reels of the fishmonger. And as soon as we have all those books, we can make our way to the pay reach because then we ensure that all those books are going to be read before we even read uh, reach the La Basin. I think that's the play here. Right now we can get four of these. Maybe we get another research part even here. That would be quite lucky and actually amazing because the amount of research parts we already got they really save us time. All 
Right, I can fit the last one in here as well. Nice. Alright, we empty our, our inventory. This, quickly sleep. Which aberrations don't we have yet? We don't have the cot aberrations, so I'm gonna catch some of those. Maybe we get an aberration here and we are lucky, because we need the money anyway. Come on, give me an aberration. Ah. Like, not getting aberrations always feels so bad. Ooh. Take it. Come on, give me an aberration here. Like, I mean, we've been extremely lucky with aberrations, so I'm not complaining here. Why don't we get... Where? Ah, there it is. I really would like to get the book here. Why don't we get the book yet? Never mind, we don't get the book here. So we just go back. Sell our fish. Get this nice to the floating dock. Get to the dry dock. We don't have the money yet. We need exactly four more. So I think that's gonna be worth it. Just doing another economy trip here. Trying to get maybe even another aberration. And uh, the money for the hull upgrade, because that's gonna help at the next area. There we go. Come on. We have all the heal aberrations now. Already. We have all the... What's it called? Oh, uh, we don't need to get this aberration because we're going to catch it at some point with the Radiant Troll Net. Fishmonger, all right. Can we please get this upgrade? No? Ah, we still need... Ha ha ha. Okay. That's alright. Um, okay. Like all these upgrades, we are gonna finish them as soon as we reach... Uh, as we are done with... Um, pay reach. And we already have so much done here. Like... We're actually very far ahead in terms of upgrades and I think that is beautiful. Okay, so let's quickly get these into our inventory and sell this. We quickly sleep here. Here and we manifest into this direction so we can take this route. All right. Oh, the great white. Hello. Oh, this is going very well. I'm feeling very confident right now. Let's hope for a smooth pale reach.
Oh, I love this animation. Look at it. Piece of art over there. Like, this animation provides so much to me. Just exciting. It's a nice environmental feature. Watching a whale fighting a giant squid. Exactly my, my vibe. All right, so we want to start by getting these out. Ah, uh, we forgot our mouth of the deep. Yeah. We want that one as well. Needs to be repaired first. And then we farm enough money so we can actually afford everything we want here. So we need like... I think seven hundred dollars here. Gonna sleep gonna sleep two times. Leap. So we have a nice and full report. Oh, we even got this one already. Gonna leave it in here. Oh, amazing. Do it again. I think those early investments of research parts into crab pots actually really worth the, the ma money. They provide real value. Ah. Right. Mm. Might be enough already. Mm. Have a look, we want this. We wanna in install this here. And this here important we want to get i think it's the brittle trawl net all, all right we need to do one more round of of crab farming actually gonna repair the, the nets as well the crab pots as well so um they keep farming the last crab aberration entry during our routing but you come with us you come with us. Ah. Market. Mm. Quickly repair. We want you in here. Nice. And those two are gonna keep grinding stuff for us. The troll net goes down. And we start our mission here in this area. We get two of these two fish. Oh, we only get one tooth fish here, right. And catch six of these here. We, we don't hope for an aberration just yet. And if we get an aberration, we don't want it to be the fractaline aberration because um, there is a better timing for the aberration here. The fractaline ice fish um, is needed in order to finish the pursuit of the hooded figure and um, there is actually a sweet spot for when we want to get the aberration so yeah fingers crossed here right oh that's nice i feel very confident Uh, mm. misclick. Mm. All right, we want to get two more toothfish here. Maybe we even get an aberration. That would be amazing. Uh, 
but we are not that lucky. I mean, that would be incredible, getting that aberration already. Also, I am not crazy, and this, this is why I am going to sleep at the station. Oh, we get a lizard fish. That's nice. Actually, really nice. Cool. We get this thing. We quickly go and sleep. Because we can. So the reason we are we are having this net is um, its purpose is that we are farming aberrations while we are moving through the area. this quickly sleep for two hours so our panic goes away we get one more lizard fish here and that might already be enough for us to go through the next area now actually we need two more ice fish but then it's enough already it's that easy yeah also the the um, fishing net provides fish for this pursuit. I think there are many benefits of ha having the net early. Um, at the same time, like it's not completely necessary. Like we, um, we may be safe 20 to 30 seconds with it. Because at the same time, like we are losing time by, mom by farming the money. Still, I think it is worth it. I think I quickly want to sleep again. Or do I? No, we don't need to. Let's take the risk. And get the aberration here. This could be a good timing. And it is. Amazing. That's actually a perfect timing here. That's nice as well. If we can get the aberration of this fish now with our troll net, that would actually mean that we will just um, be able to finish the figure in white pursuit before we even get the anchor. And that would be probably the fastest time I ever did this area. Because then we can just leave and come back as soon as we have a higher aberration rate. We can get another aberration there. But first I would like to go here. Quickly um, get the icebreaker. We save so much time by just pressing continue with this button on the bottom right here, bottom right, instead of doing it with um, mm. Oh, amazing. Uh, I would like to repair the net, right? 11 hours remaining. No, we don't need to repair it. We can do the pursuit in 11 hours. All right, so first I bring my fishies to the figure in white. Like, I mean, there is even a faster way to do it, but the, t the RNG and the timing required to do it is just beyond uh, my dreams. Oh so, yeah, just gonna do it now. 
and I'm very satisfied with this timing here. I mean, look at this. We need two very specific aberrations here. And the last one we are going to get by using our raw net. The engineer's companion actually saves a lot of money because repairing the, the items we use, they don't lose their... Um, what's it called? Their usability as quickly. And because of that, they cost less money in maintenance because we have to repair them less often, so to say. Right. Let's fish this one. Maybe we can get the aberration already. <laughs> yes, we can. That's just really, really, really nice. No. Right. Nice. Quickly gonna sleep here. Cause I don't care for the money of uh, the fish and I just wanna get through this area very safely. Let's go. There is the monster. Let's quickly feed it our aberration. So we are safe here. While we are dredging this item over here. Another ice pick X. Is it called Ice X or is it called Pick X? In German we, we call it uh, Pick Axt, I think. But I'm not sh entirely sure about it. I think two are enough here. Probably. All right. We want to free him and we want to read the stuff in the frozen cabin. What happened here? And we can free the person. Oh, I love the voice acting and the sound effects here. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Two more to go. Next we get uh, the ice cutter. I could have emptied my storage here, I think. Yeah. This. And next we get the ice cutter. Over here. Also, there is a refined metal I, I would like to get. Because with this refined metal, we can actually get the hull upgrades before Devil's Spine, without buying a single piece of refined metal. And as inventory and storage space gets um, critical at that point of the game, I really would like to have it. Right, is there any aberration we can catch here? I don't think so. This is another toothfish. Already have its aberration. Right. Next we go through here. Left hand side, because here is the next ice axe. free you first we read the notes 
because I tend to forget it if we don't do it. And next, we also fish one goblin shark here because... Um, ah, no, no, we don't have to. Yeah, I would like to get one goblin shark here because um, it helps a lot later when we got atrophy to get this aberration quicker. First sleep. That should be enough. And here on the left hand side, there is a goblin shark. Oh. Leave it here because not gonna be there in time anyway. Alright, our trawl net ex has expired, so repairing it would have been a good call. Alright, and I actually want to go in here in a certain angle, like this, because, um, yeah, because of this. Every time when we, um, try to steer our boat in those ice shards, it collides with them and makes it very awkward to actually like move around all right ice shed ice in here ice actually let's try and get the aberration here looking at the time i'm very um Satisfied with what we are getting here. Like the amount of aberrations versus the time, it's very, very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna ignore the aberrations over there, like the goblin sharks. It. Oh no. Ah, it's just the improved upward engine. If this was like the, um, the jet engine drive, this would be a major problem now. But yeah. Yeah, the troll net doesn't work because it's expired. It has lost its usability. Um, I would love to use it, but we are getting a new one in a, new sec uh, in a few seconds anyway. So I, I uh, didn't bother repairing it. Right, now we go to the right here. We also only need one more thing for the figure in white. And while we are farming... While we are trying to get the correct aberration, I'm going to farm aber um, aberrations. Um, like, what do I want to say? Like. While we are fun farming the aberration of the Stargazer, I would like to... Um, come on. To farm aberrations of other fish at the same time. That's what I wanted to say. All right. Troll net. Let's get back, sell our fish, and get our crab pots ready. Because they can go back into our inventory and save us some money, because... This is how we can use them in Stellar Basin already. We also want to buy um, another two explosives. Oh, perfect. Up. There is no space for that one. Go here. Oh. And everything. You go into inventory, you go into inventory. Oh. Let's prepare. Oh. Mm. Mm. Important as well. Oh. And ignore this. Next 
we try and get this aberration over here. Because we can. Can we maybe even get another one? Nice. Nope. Not yet. Like, this is so nice. Money-wise, this is just amazing. The boat was like... Thing. Um, you. Pick up you and pick up you. Can repair them already. This deep. And now we want to get the aberration of the stargazer. That's the one. Amazing. Okay. So instead of farm farming aberrations now. All we do is going to the figure and manifest home. That's the way here. Come on. Don't want to get damaged here. If we can also get the Colossus Grid already, that would be actually amazing. I mean, look at the timing here of um, of white. This is just um, how amazing the timing of the fractaline um, fishy thingy was. All right, we read that one immediately. Ah, uh, we can wait until the other one has finished. Let's very quickly do a money trip here now. I actually can um, get the shark because we have enough space in our inventory. And we have the correct rod now. But I don't... Yes, I do want to get this one already. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a very quick toilet break in a second. I'm going to do that. Oh, that's nice. Running and hoping that it doesn't cost too much time. See you in a second. Maybe a minute time loss, but the body is more important. All right, you go there. Um, we want to quickly leap until it is this much a clock. I would like to get scrap metal here. Toilet speed run within a speed run. Indeed. It's very fast. Very efficient run, I would say.
Let's get the wood. I think wood is the main thing we need here and those thingies over here. I would like to get two upgrades before we um, leave for Stellar Basin, which is the inventory upgrade and the, um, what's it called, and the, no, I want to get three upgrades actually, the rod upgrade, the inventory upgrade, and um, the, Rod, inventory and net upgrade. And maybe we can get some more research parts here as well. Are we still reading a book? Yes, we are. All right. Come on. The next book we get. Okay, we need to put anchor into inventory. Um, why? It's in. An, it is in our inventory. I think the anchor is positioned perfectly. I already know where to put it. Let's get these two cloth and then we get some more scrap metal and um, then we go and try to um, buy the upgrades and we should be fine upgrade wise. Ooh, that's nice. I like that one. can fit three of them in here, I think, possibly, maybe, but how? I will find a way, dare me. I really would like to have this one, yes, there we go. Amazing, wow. That's really cool. Getting this aberration here. I mean, we are about to finish uh, the the book of Astral Science, which is just gonna make everything so much better for us. All right, floating dock, dry dock. I mean, this, this. And we want this as well. But have all the means necessary. Exactly. Eat. Can we also put some something in here? No. And put here. Cool. Okay. So now I want to put um, want to put this into my storage and this into my storage. In my inventory. We sleep until it is four-ish. And now we get this shark over here. Because now we are starting our mission to Is it a mission? Or yeah, our, we are we are on our way to Stellar Basin now. Next, we get the box of the photographer.
And we bring both both of our sharks into the the shrine. Come on. Yes. Nice. Next I want to get is a hammerhead, which is over here. And we put down a crab pot right over here. Which is how we secure ourselves the blue crab as soon as we arrive here. Alright. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So now we dredge you. We get the refined metal over here. And then we get the dog. Oh, but didn't I bring the explosive? I didn't bring the explosive. And I didn't completely empty my inventory as well. That's all right. Can do this uh, later. Slowly approach, call for the dog, get the dog. Let it follow you, and there we go. That's quite a dog. Good dog. Here we can get five lumber, which we really want. I'm gonna leave one here at the research part instead because I want to get a book as quickly as possible. That's nice. Here's another research part. We're gonna put the anchor down at uh, this laboratory here. Like this. Quickly deep, so it's a little bit safer. And we get a octopus. Ah, I forgot to make the split at white. Why did no one say anything? <laughs> Alright. Can we please get the squid as well? Do we reach the squid here? 10 minutes. Close. Very close, but sleeping was a mistake. Alright. We get... No, we didn't. That means we have to sleep here. No biggie. No biggie. Hello, Mrs. Researcher. Bring her the dog. Amazing. Quickly sleep, so it's night again. Wanna go... Oh, that's nice, actually. Wanna go for... Over here. Up. Hmm. Go. Back from the gym. How's the run going? The run is going actually pretty nicely. Some small, mis small mistakes here and there, but they are to be expected, right? Keep. Now I would like to try and get the aberration of the hammerhead shark over here. Here it is. To get the aberration. Nope. 
don't but it would have been amazing actually would have been amazing for us here is a little help for us i want to get these We are going to be able to afford so many more upgrades now just because of these lumber over here. I want it to be a little bit brighter outside so we don't miss the treasure which should be somewhere over here. Come on, come on. There it is. Almost missed it. There we go. Very nice. Okay, the next thing we do is deploying our, our crab pots. But we do that after we got our upgrades here. So anyway, we take this, take this, and now we can put anything in here. Beautiful sunrise. Yes, right? We are almost able to already afford the last tool upgrade here. That's so nice. That is probably... Alright, what can we sell now? We can sell... Mm. Um, goes into inventory of this. Repair everything. One as well. Sell this. Nice. And... Next, oh, I'm so th thinking so slowly here. Want to get this upgrade and also start getting this upgrade. Um, next, oh, what am I doing here? Yeah, the crab pots, that's right. I want to buy even more crab pots actually because here we got many, many crabs and their aberrations. And this is why. We deploy many, many crabs as uh, crab pots as possible out here. I want to try and get the Barracuda and its aberrations. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's incredible. Get a second fit in here. Come on, give me the aberration. <laughs> yep. The effect of the book is extremely noticeable as well as the effect of um what did i want to say god hmm. look at all money cool so i want to see every fish uh, every crab before we leave So in our absence, we can farm for the crabberations. So we sleep for 48 hours. It's going to give us a lot of, of money as well. So we can afford the inventory, uh, the next upgrade very early. Take all of this. That's very nice. Take all of this. Take all of this. actually start buying research parts as well here also we need one of this 
We actually need even a second one of these. All, all, get rid of this. We want to empty these. Because we don't need the money, we just need need them to farm the preparation for us. All right, I want to save and requit, uh, quit and reload here because this is how we can buy another one of the um, these, another one of those, and off we go. Our first, ooh, we can get the aberration. That's nice. We're gonna get this one. And now we manifest. Come on. Go through here. Come on. Got this one. Our generator. Not where we want to go. We want to get all the research parts in here. We want to inspect thingy and we want to get another research part even all right let's read This thing here. Do I need the glacial lens? No, I don't. Mm. I get this one in here. Are we are quickly gonna sleep because we are manifesting again. And I want it to be around this late. Right, we are gonna be very panicked here because of how much we are using the teleport function. But this is how we saved like 30 seconds, right? Are we getting followed? No, we are not. Oh, that's ugly. All right. We want to get one of these. Quickly get get one. Also try and get the aberration here. Yeah, that's the problem when you're so panicked. You need to really manage manage everything here. Come on, give me the aberration. I actually don't want the fish as well, like... Leave them here, we only need one of those. Next, we get... the blue crab over here. That's very nice. Oh, to get rid of this thing before we can go fishing again. Yeah, I'm not sure if using the thingy, like uh, the, the, the anchor, the way I use it, that's actually worth it. Because like the time loss we get here with all of the panic, is, it feels a little bit hard to justify, right? Right. Next we go here do we already have yes we do i was looking for a red snapper because that's the first thing we need here that's the one
Nice. Look at the split. Thing. Now get the research part over here. There it is again. But it didn't attack us for some reason. Why? Are we reading? Yes, we are. Wanna get this moonfish over here? Maybe we can get an aberration even. No, we cannot because we don't have the correct rod with us. That's right. That's something I forgot about. Go here. Actually, no. I'm quickly gonna reload because sleeping here is very important right now. We are gonna be awake for another 24 hours. And when we do that in panic, the game is gonna be unforgiving. Alright, so what do we need? Aberrations and the oh this is an aberration that is amazing that's perfect and with us oh I forgot something I forgot to get the other what's it called um Come on, give us the ration. I forgot to get the other refined metal. So I'm actually just gonna get it right now, I think. Are we do one of these? Those go into inventory. Um we deinstall this one. And install this one, this one, and this one, like this. Right, nothing in here we can keep. We're just leaving this fish pot over here. But here is another spot we, where we can try and get the aberration. I actually really would like to get this aberration over here. There we go. All right, because now we are really good on, good on operations. We need one of these. One of them goes into our inventory, and now we farm for the aberration as well. There we go. That was very quick. We get this little buddy over here. And we use our generator. Nice. Ah, we ha really have to use it as well. Like this. Nice. And now we try to get as many aberrations down here as possible because if we can get every aberration here it means we don't have to come back here into the pit again come on aberrations it's unfortunate none of the aberrations aberrations which can be caught here I would like to get at least one of the snail aberrations. Let's now get this one. There should be another spot for snail fish somewhere here. Where is it? Where is the other snail fish spot? There it is. I really would like to... Um, yeah, there's one. There should be a second.
the amount of bonuses we have that really actually help us out here. But we are unlucky in this regard. So that's a bummer. But it's alright. Okay, cool. Uh, we lost our Gulpa eel. That's not good. Uh, our thingy turned aberration, so we can't use it anymore. Okay, you know what? We are quickly gonna deploy our anchor here. We go right here. Try to get the aberration of this thingy. Ah, but we don't have the oceanic rod. <laughs> Alright, there is an anglerfish down here. We can repair our boat. And we... Should be fine somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Right. No, that's not an anglerfish. Where is the anglerfish? Come on. Is it over there? Yeah, that's the one. Alright. So we need the angler. That's a barrel eye. Not helping. We need the barrel eye, but we need it later. Alright. Uh... Quickly swallow our proud, our pride. Use the spyglass. Finally, find it. Even another aberration. Wow, we find these aberrations, but we don't find the aberrations of those we need. It was aberration of carrot eye. <laughs> yeah. So what happened there was our. Um, Fish went rogue. What? It's looking very nice here. Do we also get an aberration over here? Yes, we do. Amazing. Let's quickly do a very selective kind of um, cell. Like this. We repair our boat. And we need another crab pot in our inventory. Let's just get this one. Again. Would like to get another one of these. And now um, we quickly manifest back. Of course we can. And we get another aberration here, but we don't need it. We don't need to get another aberration of these. All right, trader. One, two, three, four, six. Else, this one. Can we get the book now? No. Maybe we already had the book. We go to the painter. Mm -hmm. Deliver a flag. We also paint our boat. The roof can be royal purple now. Um storage that's pretty nice we already got these now hmm. cool, cool cool we sleep we bring can we get this aberration ah no we don't have the correct rod <laughs> we bring him our ring like this. Nice. And now we go back. Alright. Where is... It needs to be in my cargo, that's right. Ah! Right. Yeah, still, this um, like this could have been way worse. Are we reading something? Yes, we are. Let's quickly sleep here. 
and have a look in our inventory if we actually have everything we need. This, 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 this. We are ready. All right. The next thing we start is, uh, is Twisted Strand. We find our barrel eye over here. No, not over here, but over there. Where is it? E7. I kind of misaligned here, but but this should maybe be the one. Where is it? Am I stupid? E7. We are too far to the left. In tuna. Nice. Ah! Oh. That the one? That's the one we are looking for. We are looking for the barrel eye because the barrel eye is a fish we need for the pursuit of the figure in purple. Right. But this, let's actually try and get the aberration. Because if we can get this one, this is going to be a huge time saver. Amazing. And we get a fresh one. Right. Nice. Next thing we do is we deploy our anchor right there at the figure. Whoop. Yep, like this. Now we align ourselves with this fish. So we are going straight to the tarpon over here. We get the tiger, uh, the goliath tiger fish, which is over here. Ah, oh, we can't get it yet. That's right, because I'm messing up the route <laughs> and doing random alterations without thinking about them. But of course, the first thing we have to finish here is this shrine. And now we pray that we have an aberration with us. We do. And before we get the rod, we have to put down this crab pot. And now we can just go here and reinstall our inventory. To skip some time. There we go, we already have this one. Gonna get as many aberrations as possible here. Let's go. Come on. really like to get this aberration already. There we go. Next thing we do is we get this crap, the manifest home. Didn't know that they could teleport with us. Quickly sleep to settle down our panic. Now we do the figure in purple. We are 20 minutes faster than we usually are. Look at this. All right. Now we get the Goliath, uh, Goliath tiger fish. I also forget uh, forgot to get something else. So let's go here first. Because what we actually need to get here, very importantly, is the first dog tag. Right here. So yeah, this could have been faster. Usually um, I get it all during the our first trip here. And the, um, the fish shrine has to be done first. Because if you don't do the fish shrine first, 
it means that you're uh, that we are just uh, not going to be able to catch mangrove fish and the goliath tiger fish is a mangrove fish so that's why we haven't been able to catch it it's as easy as that this one is re really expensive so we take it and now we can just go outside and keep on the left to go to the platoon and there we prepare for our trip through this area. Can we get the aberration of this one actually? I oh, know we can't yet. I also forgot uh, to get the aberration of the tarpon. So what we are going to do actually here is we are quickly going to sell our fish. We are going to buy some cra crab pots. Also repair what we already have. This. Let's go here. Deploy our anchor here. Um, maybe not here directly, but like a little bit outside. Here ish. Yes, nice. And now. Ah, I still need to deploy. This is not deep enough. Okay, now I really have to focus up because. This area is complicated and it needs my whole attention. Right, more crab pots should be enough here. Quickly sleep. Right. We get oh, the flag over here. <clears throat> nice. We already have um, read so many books here. This is a research part. We don't want to get that because research parts are important. And here is our second uh, dog tag and just to make this trip a little bit more efficient i'm actually gonna also get the wood over here so our inventory gets as full as possible and i would like maybe if we still have time for that get another aberration on our way to where we are going there Is this a tarpon? Because that would be amazing. No, it's not. But I think we can get this aberration. It's just as good. Come on, please. Unfortunately, no aberration here. That. And we are going to get the, the second aberration of this one by using the trawl net. There is no, not going to be any trouble with that. Have a quick look in the um, loading dock. What else do we need? This. This. That. Hmm. All right. I wanted to be there de again because then we can just farm some of the aberrations here. Come on. Aberrations shouldn't be that rare for us. We have many bonuses on them. There we go. Here I would like to get two gar aberrations. Come on. Uh, no aberration for us here. Yeah, that's... That could have been better. So let's quickly... 
sell our fish. Go to the crab pots and see what we have got. That's very nice. Right. It's empty everything. They still have two days remaining, so we don't have to repair them yet. And let's hope when we re return we find all the crabs we want. Which is uh, the, both the aberrations and um, then we should be fine. Do I keep the anchor here? Actually, leaving the anchor here would be a waste, I think. I think we want to put the anchor to the guy. Okay, what's next? Mm. Now, let's have a look. We want one of these. They go into our inventory. We do some upgrades. I want to get this one. I want to get more fish pots for Devil's Bine. And now we sleep until it is about like 10 o'clock. Ah, we don't even have to sleep this long because we are dredging and we are at the same time farming for aberrations. So we can just skip some time by getting more stuff into our inventory. Ah, that's bad. Let's skip on this grab metal. Because we don't need it right now. I really would like to get an aberration here. Come on. Very weird that we are not getting any aberration. I'm boarding, so our um, this area gets empty again. Oh, that's very bad luck, actually. Is it happen? Yes, it is. Actually, want to get that. Come on. Don't disappoint me here. Yes. All right, here we get the last dog tech. And a research part. So of course we get it. There is a guaranteed... That's a tarpon as well. Don't need that one anymore. I mean we are almost finished with this area here. Not where we have to go. We have to go over here. We already have the aberration of the catfish. We can keep farming for the aberration. Ah, uh, let's just do two trips here. We can keep farming for the gar aberrations while the what's it called? The traps are doing their work. Like they're al always when we put some bait into the traps for the mind suckers. We have. Oh god, we don't have enough of these. That's weird. Why do we do we have so many of the other fish? All right, let's try to get the aberration here. Come on. Yes. Nice. Now we get... What's that? Treasure. And here should be some mullets, right? We need two more. And it's just very weird for us not getting... 
the mullets into our trawl net. That never happened before to me. Yeah, we are fine. We are just fine here. Ammon. Got the traps, first one. You. Inventory, second one. Inventory, last one. Inventory. All right. So many research parts here. All right. Quickly sleep so we are not panicked anymore. I want to get the anchor down here because that's the small time safe. We need a note. And now we catch as many guards as possible over here while the trap is doing its work. There's the first aberration. There's even more aberrations though. There's a second aberration as well, and I want it. Not yet. Not yet. Right. But getting at least one aberration here was important, in my opinion. There is another guy I like to empty, so to say. Come on. We need one more aberration here. Come on. There we go. If we still have time to sell it. All right, we get this one now. Nice. Right, we need only the giant mud crab and then we are finished with this area. Looking at the time, I'm feeling very confident. Come on. All right, we manifest. Quickly use the anchor. Not sure if it's actually a time save though, but gotta be right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Mr. Airman. We bring him the corpses. There we go. And now we ask him for bait. You, I think four bait should be enough. Generally speaking. And now we quickly sleep so our panic settles down. I think also um, getting this aberration is nice just for the money. this now we have a look if we can get the crap there we go cool 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 Right. 
right. One of them goes into our storage. You need to sell, yes. And now we empty all of these, sell them, and we go back to Red Tamaro. Ah. First, we buy another one of these. And now we need to sleep until Manifest is ready again. All right, should be enough. Yes, cool. And we get probably a gold split here. Why isn't it a gold split? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have atrophy now. And boy, are we gonna use it. Oh. Hello. I don't say no to that. Let's get some color. Hmm. Like, we already almost have all the preparations hmm. at this point at the game. That's just amazing. Have we any anything to sell here? Yes, we do. We have this ring. And next we wanna... Can we get an aberration here? It'd be amazing actually. Just because we are here anyway. If we can get our last flounder aberration. It would actually help a lot. And yes we can. We can. That's so cool. Alright. We are gonna deploy some crab pots here because we still need the um, aberrations of the crabs right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's next? Let me quickly have a look here on what we are missing in our dry dock. All right. Nothing too important. Um, we are gonna go to the shipwright and exchange those two. We're gonna get this one in here, and this one in here. Cool. Now we just sleep. We go to the storage, we get these inside of our inventory, all of them. Do I need this? No. Do I need this? No. That's nice. My god. Come on. We need to go to the painter, paint boat, go for the hull, sharp lint. Are we hmm. reading a book? Yes, we are. All right. I know I know exactly what I need to atrophy. How much duration does it have? Two days. All right. The next is we try to get a snake mackerel over here. The first aberration of it. So when we atrophy it, we have both of the aberrations. Come on. One more and then we actually atrophy. Right. And for the future. 
There's another one right, right here. Ooh, that's nice actually. Can we get this one? I didn't know that there is the spot of this uh, of this fish. The red tail. This would be an amazing aberration already. Oh. Oh. That's really nice. Did you start a new book? Yes, I did. I actually did. We are very focused. All right, we go through here. Come on. Fuck off, please. Kindly, fuck off. Ooh, this is nice. Getting... Getting it like this. I actually like it. There is another aberration. What's what's it? It's the snail fish, and we actually can't um, get it because we are lacking the correct equipment. Oh, please fuck off! All right, let's. We can't banish. Uh, that's really bad. But the mother fish seems to be far away. Um, uh, uh, that was um, scary. Very scary. Okay. Drop this. One goes here. Next thing we need to get is all of the crabs actually all of the crabs so can we atrophy already yes we can so for this we take all of them and sell them immediately um the fish market maybe let's get some of these so we have actually enough for farming. Uh, did I only buy two more? That's lazy. No, I didn't. Why couldn't I deploy them? Ah, because they are not repaired. All right. Let's quickly repair them. Man. Very lazy of me. And buy some research parts here. Come on. This is actually not deep enough. We need it to be in a depth of... Oh, let's actually pick them up as well because we need to repair them. Hmm. Let's get another one of these. Ah. Because getting these crabs here quickly is... Of large importance right like where is the um devil spine am i correct by assuming that this one yeah i think it needs a higher depth and if we deploy it um i think the deeper we um deploy it the higher are the chances for the crap so we sleep for 24 hours before checking the crab pots again and then we do a very nice little trick, which I really like, and you are going to like it as well. What we wanted, let's empty it. This is very nice as well. Um, let's just quickly sell here. The faster we get the crabberations here now, the better. Let's actually empty the inventory because this process Otherwise, it's going to be painful. All we need to remember is that we need to revisit that. Come with us. May we already get aberrations in here? No. No. All right. Hmm. 
the next thing we do is we empty all of them so they can um, get aberrations just like this we can sell and we can buy research parts amazing all right and this is a nice little trick which you can use if you don't wanna if you don't care for the money and you just wanna finish it you can go for that very handy little trick also saves about 40 seconds mm. all right and we sleep again because we need the aberrations of the crabs here whoa so fast on the menu navigation thank you <laughs> thank you very much okay i'm sleeping um, 48 hours to ensure that we have the maximum of reps mm -hmm. We maybe just get these out of here. Mm -mm -mm. How's this looking? There we go. That's the first one we are looking for. And that's the second one we are looking for. That's actually pretty nice. That was a good time here. So next we deploy... The anchor, uh, where is our, there it is, and we bring them to the guy, those can come back already, uh, maybe I should have slept, but we take the risk. We already have all of these aberrations. Get this. We already have all the crabberations. That's so good. I have no words actually. Aberrations, yeah, that's how we call them. Because crap aberrations just sounds ugly as fuck. And there we go, we have all the aberrations we need. All the crap aberrations. We are officially in the on the best course I've ever been. There is no talking around that. Alright, this is everything we need here. Um we also need this one, but down here. Anything else we need? No, doesn't look like it. All right, we sleep until it is six. We get one of these. And we need a spider crab. We got here, I left it there. Intentionally. Catch one of those. One like this, and one by using atrophy. Because we need the aberration. Oh, you can fuck off. We need this stone plate over here.
we are fine because they can't hit us over here at these um, thingies. And now we get this one going for uh, eight hours, like this. So our atrophy and banish resets. Where is the, sh uh, the fish? It's actually right there. Uh, all right. Let's be very quick here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You can go away, please. All right, we quickly solve the shrine. And now we go over here because there is a flag we need. And now we should be able to banish again, right? Yes. So if the shit hits the fan, we are prepared. Yeah, this, um, this area is very flexible, in my opinion. All right. Next, we go around thingy over here. What's this? Yeah, let's banish and get this aberration because that's very comfortable. Yeah. Very nice. Having this aberration already is very, very nice. Alright. Now can manifest. we need to bring to him all right oh you bring the flag to the painter let's see if we can change flag if there's anything we missed there's n we have all the flags we have all the preparations next thing we get is this one <clears throat> um, like this. But first, let us get some upgrades here. Ah, uh, we don't have everything yet. Okay, okay, okay. Let's actually prioritize this quickly because I would like um, to empty my inventory into the storage here. That's kind of important. So we can um, get the items we need. All we need is these two, right? This was everything we needed. Looking at the time here, I'm feeling very confident. Very, very confident. Which aberrations do we need from the Maros? One more mackerel. This can be done right now. And the bronze veiler. Sweet. Last tool upgrade, done. Right. Let's leap because we need to. Because there's some more stuff to be caught. 
we get the swordfish i think is the name for it right Do we have the second snake mackerel already? My next question. No, we don't. All right. That's something we can get over here. As long as we are a little bit lucky. So fingers crossed, everyone. We need this aberration over here. If we don't get it, we might have a minor problem, like a time loss of one more minute. Come on. But we are lucky as fuck. Right. It's you. We are not allowed to forget the note over there. The note is obligatory. We really need it. Ah, oh, we can even access our storage here. We could just have gone straight for the... Ritual. Right. Medic. And some lit. We get next material. How long for the next atrophy? Quickly wait here. Pause. We still need to atrophy the shark. There is the note, which we are not allowed to forget. Just passing. All right, and here is where we use atrophy. Very nice. We bring the stone tablet right here. Right. All those trinkets and our lamp. Right. We need one more snail fish, which we can find over here. Nice. And now just to make sure that we have everything, I'm quickly going to look through Evil Spine. Looking very good. Well, net needs to be deployed as well. What's this? Oh, that's another. Yeah. And what's this? Snake mackerel. All right. We are fine here. Next thing we get is upgrades. Are we reading a book? Yes. We are almost finished. Also, somewhere here is that viper fish, which I really would like to get. We also can go for the tuna. Now, let's go for later for the tuna. I would like to get one viper fish it should be somewhere over here come on there it is and i don't have an abyssal rod so this was a waste of time 
Ah! All right. What's next here? Let's quickly sell our trinkets and dredge items while we are reading books and use atrophy as often as possible. Marrows. One sailfish, bronze whaler. Bronze whaler we get right now. Just over here. We can sell our trinkets now. Later. Mm. This. 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 And we want to re... configure our inventory. Like this. Yes, should be fine. Let's quickly sleep here. Um, yeah, so what's next? We deploy our anchor here. Let's do two full circuits of this. And then we check how many more resources we still need. Actually, let's do one circle and then we just get all the... This is our last book. Then we just get all the... Uh, the, the, the lumber and the the cloth and then we should be already settled on cloth and we should be already pretty close to having enough lumber Also, I would like to return to the Viper fish spot. Not getting research parts here. Kind of a disappointment because we got so many in uh, the early game. And if we had like some luck here as well, that would actually help a lot. Right. So what we have to hope here is that later at uh, the pay reach we actually are lucky with the with the pale grasper. That's very very important. The inventory. We deep. We save and quit. We get um, more lumber. Come back, luck. Where are you? Yes. But looking at the time, I'm feeling extremely confident. We're actually very close to getting. A very good time here. If we are lucky with RNG, this might just be our first um, thingy. What's it called? Anyway, <laughs> it might be our first sub three thirty. That's what I wanted to say. All right. 
So we have almost enough for the inventory upgrade. That's the most expensive upgrade le left. And now we can make a quick assessment on which other materials we still need. How about wood? Alright. I see two wood. Six. Eight. Could have just manifested, but yeah. Come on, burn it. We need two more wood, two more. Cloth and eight more scrap metal. Am I right? And then we should be done with the upgrades. I think the most fish which is left we can get in Gale cliffs and we need a lot of the oceanic fish and aberrations like the, the razor fin tuna the, mo the two moonfish and sunfish aberrations fish which is the um, long and large fish at Gale cliffs yeah there's still a lot of fish left and um, I think I am most afraid of pale reach because there it is complete RNG so this is uh, what we are gonna finish last oh my we didn't need the anchor here yeah, I think the anchor is a little bit... I, I overrated the anchor a little bit. I overestimated it because like... The time saves are negated a little bit by the fact that we um, get so much panic. And the panic... Um, actually... Is a large problem many times. Like it, it is... It was probably like a 30 second time loss. And now we have to redeploy the anchor here, which is another time loss. Yeah, I think it's like there are certain areas where it's very handy to have it. But also certain areas where it isn't. All right, let's get the upgrades. can also get a better engine now. Oh, very nice. And we have all the upgrades. Amazing. All right, let's quickly buy us a new engine here. So this. Uh, this might have been a mistake. Yep. All right, we need more money. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. And let's quickly install, repair and sell this. And then we should have all the money we need. Need. We want to install one now, and we want to install this thing. 
can we though? No, we don't want to install it just yet. All right. We need two more, two more dollars. Luckily, we can just sell this. All right. Money is going to be tight. Certainly. All right, now we get the last aberration of the sailfish. Want to use the trawl net? It's very important. Ah, it's just atrophy. Money is nice. Alright, I would like to have a quick look on which aberrations we still need from here. We have the eel, we have... Um, Alright, the perch, tiger mackerel, stonefish, black mouth. Yep. This is gonna be a lot of leap. Let's use our lights here. We want to find this spot over here. Let's try and get as many aberrations as possible without using atrophy, because that's the fastest way. One more and then I use atrophy here. Oh my god. That just sucks. Right. There we go. First aberration of this one. Can we be lucky, please? Yes. Yes, we can. So let's get the first aberration here. Nice. There also should be a tiger mackerel spot somewhere, but I think the tiger mackerel is here only as a day fish. This is going to be a very close, close run. Um, how much on atrophy? Right. Let's get one duration like this. Let's pray that we get it. Because that would save us so much time here. Come on. There we go. And now we can get the second one somewhere around here. Now this is the Oceanic Perch. We can get this aberration as well. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's just atrophied. Next is the Devil Ray. We need to sleep a little bit longer. Do we have the Abyssal Rod equipped? Yes, we do. And the Oceanic as well. Off. That's on. All right. I should have used uh, the anchor over there at the platoon because we need uh, to do a lot of navigation over there now. Oh, well, that's fortunate. Terra crane and withered ray. All right. 
need to repair now. That's fine though. Let's finish all of these. And then we can have a quick look on how many research parts there are still left for us. Shouldn't be too many actually. Right. Let's finish all of this. Engines done, done. So this is about 10 research parts. That's... We can deal with that. All right. Next, I would like to get the sturgeon. Yes. Oh, we can't atrophy it. Okay, let's... let's... Oh, God. That's bad. That's actually bad. More time lost there. Still, we are in, in a good spot here. Honey. One more tiger mackerel and one more sea bass. So let's quickly live and quit so they respawn. The, those spots which are nearby here, they are supposed to respawn. Can we atrophy again? Yes, we can. There's our first victim. Hello there. Spirit macro. Hmm. And now we sleep for 12 hours. Next one is the sturgeon. And then we do the... What's it called? Um, sea bass, the sea bass is over here. Come on. Wow. And this should be everything here. Mm. Have a quick look. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Quickly sleep. Actually, we sleep a little bit longer even. Because the next thing we, we want to get is we doing all right. We want to go all the way down here because there is a moonfish, and this actually really helps moonfish down here. There it is. Or is it a sunfish? Manifest back. Just add it. Also get the sleep here. Next. You wanna get the viper fish. And it's first aberration. We can even get the second aberration. Let's try here. We can't. Would have been very nice. Anyway, what else is left? Need the moonfish aberrations. Can get them here very quickly. Fish. There's not a lot left. Yeah, we are going to do Stellar Basin next. I think we still need 
some of the aberrations here. Also, we can talk to the mayor here. So we can cross that off of our list. All right, we have half an hour left. Where is it? Come on. Where is this fish? Should be over here somewhere. There we go. This is where I want to go. Uh, am I stupid? Where is it? Come on. This is such a stupid time loss. Should be right here. Oh my god. Is this the one? No, that's the, the shark. Ah. Yeah. Where the... That's very nice. Now go back here. Keep for 24 hours. No, not for 24. But now we need to have a look into our encyclopedia instead of basin. Firefly squid, all right. Snailfish one, glowing octopus. Glowing octopus is gonna be nice. Yeah, this one as well. All right, all right. What we are actually gonna do here is we are just gonna sleep until it is night again and then then we are going to go fishing and this this should be all right um let's quickly have another look i want to be very sure about it right right was atrophy going This is our first station over here. Next one is gonna be this. This shouldn't be a problem. Come on. One drop. this nothing we need oh we really have to go fast now is that a snailfish hell yes it's a snailfish come on come on there we go I also want to get this aberration over here Question is, can we get it? Come on, let's first have a look into the crab pots because the aberration might be inside there. That would save us some more time. Mm. That's bad. That's nice. Can we get another one. Right, and now we want to have a look for... Ah, it needs to be day. Otherwise, I, I will not be able to find the crab pots. Mm. Let's sell everything we have. This one goes into waste. Mm. Chipyard, this thingy. Quickly sleep. Mm. Off we go. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, come on. But that means we still need the Medusa Octopus. Alright, 
Let's farm it. Not that far away, actually. We have another atrophy. All. All right. I don't think we can get a sub three hour. We would be have to be very, very, very lucky on aberration luck, like amazingly lucky. And I, I, I think that's very, very unlikely. All right, we have everything from Stellar Basin. So let's just go back. Quickly sleep here. I think we go straight to where we gotta go, which is over there. I shouldn't, I should just have gone straight from Stellar Basin to the Pale Reach, I think. That would have been the play. With good luck, 3.3 3 might be possible, but for sub 3 skip or something has to be found. Yeah, that's right. It, I mean, it's a 100% run. Um, times are always gonna be pretty close. Oh yeah, there's that. Let's have a look on which um, species we still need in um, in Pale Reach. That's very nice, having the Colossus Squid already. It's extremely nice, because we want the aberration of this one. This will be um, the most, impor for, uh, most important part of this run now. Getting the aberration of this thingy. Alright. Um... Let's quickly have a look now. Encyclopedia. 12 more fish. This one, this one. This one, this one. This one, this one. Alright, so first we are going to go for the fish which cannot be caught with the troll net. Which is the goblin shark and... This thingy. I oh, know that can be caught. Let's quickly put some food in thing over here, the basket, so we can have a safe little journey. Amazing actually. This is amazing for us. Here is the goblin shark. Take it. And next, we want to get... Where is this fish? Should be somewhere around here. No, we already got this one. Like, looking like a worm, right? Okay, let's quickly just sleep, reset atrophy. Because I think that's the play here now. Um... Where is it? Is this the one? No. We need this. Let's try and get this one. Nice. I have to get this one by not using atrophy. Maybe we are lucky enough here. Come on. Uh, we're not lucky enough. Is this the fish I'm looking for? Yes, it should be, right? No, it's also an ice fish. My god. Oh, uh, if we don't get the sub 30, it's just because I don't know this area enough. This fish. It must be somewhere here. Ice fish. Am I stupid? Where is this fish? Ah, uh, this one is coming again. Oh, very dumb. I mean, we, st we still don't have the pale grasper. So, it's alright that we 
are not prioritizing it. I like the, that we are going around here. We have to do it anyway. I really would appreciate if we just were able to... Oh my god. My god. That is amazing. Let me just quickly... Find the fish I'm looking for. Atrophy him. We go back to the station so we can sell our fish. Um, where is this snake fish? What's it called? I always forget it. Is this the one? Or is it an ice fish as well? An ice fish as well. Oh, looking for this fish really sucks. No. Oh, phew. That's the lizard fish. We already got that one. The another ice fish. Yes. By having the uh, pale grass bar here, it's huge. It's it's the fish, which was um, which would have been able to cost us this run. But now I'm really confident that we will be able to get to. Oh my god, where am I going? That we are going to get the sub-30 now. That's the one, the ice fish. Let's try and get it without the ice fish. Come on. Where was it? It was here. But oh, I hate it. Let's go and sell the fish because um, we still need research parts. We cannot forget that we need research parts and prioritizing money right now, I think, is the way to go. about eight all right um, where is this fish now where is it I feel so stupid it was somewhere out there we have atrophy is it the last one we need here I reach yes yes all right we, we get the the fish over here and we Atrophy. We are very close to finishing this game. Still, we need to get one. We need to get some money. So it was somewhere here, right? Oh my god. Where is this fish? Is that fish? Somewhere here? God. Oh, uh, if I lose because of this, I'm gonna hate myself so much. Is another that's the one right no uh, like it's it's the maybe jawfish or something I'm not entirely sure is it a night fish and I, I don't find it because of that this one it's a night fish my god I am so stupid oh uh, this lost us like Four minutes already. All right.
No, we. Oh my god. We don't need um, the two fish. We need. Um, what's it called? We're going to see what's it called in a second, but. It's somewhere here. That's the one. No. Why does it hide from me? There we go. That's the one. There it is. Yes. Oof. Atrophy. I'm nervous right now. All right. We manifest back. We quickly sleep. How much money do we have? 2k. That should be enough for the research parts. So the, the next thing we do is we go over here. And where here is another moonfish. And the viper fish. And the viper fish. Ah, oh, we can't even get the aberration just like this. This is amazing for us. There we go. Very nice. And now we look for the moonfish or the sunfish. Somewhere here should be a moonfish. Never mind. We go to Twisted Strand now. First we put down the anchor here. And then we go to Twisted Strand. There we farm for research parts. And there shouldn't be much left for us to do. Like, I should just have farmed the research parts earlier, but we didn't have the money, right? Anyway, looking at the time, I'm feeling still very confident. Oh. Mm. Quickly finish research. Oh. Ooh, that's nice. This might be our very first sub. Need one more, right? Do we have the um, the king, the anchovy king? I think so, right? We have everything, yes, yes, yes. All right. Marrows. Looks good. All right, I know exactly what, what we still need. And for that, we get <sighs> our stuff out of the storage, all of this. We manifest back. Come on. Yes. And now we need to sleep so we can manifest again. That's very important now. That's the fastest way. All right. Uh, we still need to sleep more. I just have to be patient now. Patient enough and confident enough that this is gonna be enough for the time we are looking for. All right, here we are. Wait. <gasps> this is an emergency. We have to quickly get rid of some stuff in our inventory. This goes away. This stays. This one goes away. All right. 
And now we do, do it again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fast back. We sleep for 12 hours. The atrophy resets. We go back. We get this one. Oh, we still need to do atrophy. Ah, ah, ah. My god, this is just, these are stupid time losses because I'm not looking at the time. But yeah, there we are going to get our second moonfish aberration. And then we only need one more sunfish. And then we are done. There we go. We sleep until it is 3 o'clock. I think this might be our very first legitimate sub 30. Right. Now we want our first fish on here to be a sunfish. Perfect. Right. We quickly check our encyclopedia. Everything is caught. So now we go back. We bring the watch to the collector, which is us, and we are about to get our first top 30, my people, and a very solid one as well. Woohoohoo! You're seeing this? We did it! It's done! Fantastic! Whew. All right, so now I'm quickly gonna um, check if everything actually is all right and we have done everything. Pause. Um, Bookshelf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Pursuits. Everything done. Messages. Everything done. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Everything done. We have it. Also, I, I have to, to show you people that I did all of the um, paint quests and all of the flags. Ugh. I'm done with navigating for the day. Don't have to avoid damage any anymore because we have everything we need. There's nothing else to be done. Paint boat, as you can see, none of these are still open as a quest, so they are all done. And um, when we look at change flag, we can, um, th there's every flag in black color, so it says that we have everything done here. Yes. All right, so that's that's the sub 330 we were waiting for. GG people, that's the one. <laughs>